In today's tutorial, we're going to be showing you all about the Zoho One Bookings application. I'm going to give you a very brief overview of what it is and how it all operates. So let's log in and I'll see you there. All right, so let's go ahead and follow the link to the bookings.zoho.com and let's check it out. So this is the URL to get to your Zoho bookings. And as soon as you start it up for the first time, you're going to see this little icon here. And we're going to say welcome to and we're going to say get started here. So let's just say get started. We are going to call ourselves demo two clientric because this is the demo. So we can actually change this to demo or let's just say clientric demo. We are going to choose our industry, which is business consultation. And then we're going to click next. Our available hours for the time being, we're going to say uh, we only want to book meetings from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. because that gives us a little bit more time in the day to do actual work. And we're going to say Monday to Friday. So let's click next here. And then we, depending on what we do, we could do one-on-one, -on -one, we could do classes, or we could do resource booking. So one-to-one -one is a lot like a video call, just a one-to-one -one video call. Classes is where you are teaching or you're showing to multiple people at once. And you have resource booking, which could be like a meeting room, or maybe you have a piece of equipment that you're renting out for your company. Any Anything like that, that would be a resource booking. So let's just click one to one for the time being. Our first one to one, let's just say 30 minute consultation. And then it's gonna be 30 minutes and we're gonna create it. So we're gonna check it out now. So this is what happens when you first set it up and you get into your system. So it's just loading, it's setting up everything right now. So as soon as this is done loading, we're gonna tell you all about it. All right, so this is what we get when we finally have it load properly. So you can see that there is an ability to take a quick tour if you want to. In this case, I'm just going to show you the ropes of it. So we're going to explore on our own. So we can also have a mobile app if you so chose that you want to download that. That is both available for iPhone and Android. So be sure to check that out if that's what you're looking for. But this is the main screen when you log in. So this is basically your calendar view. You can have a list view over here and you can see the day, the week, the month, depending on what you're looking for. And you'll also, if you are the super admin, you'll be able to see everyone else's list. So for example, we have no appointments here yet, but we can set it up. So you'd see my appointments, you'd see um, your other employees appointments all on the same page and what they actually look like. So this is the, the main page here that you'll come to. Then we also have the report section over here, which does give you a little bit more insights as to who's booking, where they're booking from, when they're booking, that kind of stuff. So you can go through and check that out. We'll also have customers over here on this tab, which allows you to see who has booked with you. So who's registered, who's a guest, and the total number of customers. Now, it's important to note that Zoho Bookings does allow you to be able to register so that these users can have a login and a portal to manage their bookings if that's important to you. However, most of our clients just tend to use the guest booking and we'll just get them to input um, their email, their names, and that kind of information for each booking. And then that way um, it's all tracked properly and it's one less thing that they have to have a password for because as you're probably well aware, the more passwords you have, the more likely you are to forget them. So it may not be the best use case in your business to make sure that people are using a portal, but keep that in the back of your mind that it is available if you so chose. And then over here, we also have the My Profile. So the My Profile here is kind of like the settings for you as an individual in this application. So right now, the role for me is Super Admin. I can't change this role. This is just what it is when I set it up. We have the email address. We have the name. We can change. We have a contact number, designation, date of birth, gender, status, and any other additional information you'd like to add. Now over here on the left, we can also choose our working hours. So this is individual working hours, not working hours for the organization or anything like that. So if we go into here, we can customize our working hours over here. And just like we did when we were setting up the system and you can go through and check out a bunch of other options down there. We'll dive into this stuff more as we get into more depth of the application itself, but just know that this is where you'd go to change your working hours. You can also add in the consultations that you're assigned to. And right now we see that both of these are active for the 30 minute consultation and the sample service. We can go ahead and update that as well. We also have the consultant booking URL. So this is what it is by default. This is what everything looks like. And then we also have the ability to embed as a widget. 
So this is kind of cool and it does allow us to be able to utilize this. So if we have the link here, we can copy this. I'll quickly show you what it looks like when someone or a contact of yours or whoever, a, a client goes and tries to book a meeting with you. So this is what it looks like over here on this side of things. They would go through, they would choose the service, the uh, consultation, whatever it may be. So we're gonna choose the 30 minute consultation. It's then gonna pop up this date and time, which allows them to choose each individual slot they'd like to book. And we have a lot more ability to customize this. And in future tutorials, I'm gonna show you how you can go about setting up all these different things. So you can set it so it's maybe 30 minute timelines instead of 15 minute timelines. Um, you can set different, different settings, a whole bunch of different settings about when someone can actually book, um, whether it's 24 hours before or not. Um, you can have someone be restricted in that manner. There is a lot of information there and we'll dive into that in a minute but we also have the ability to just book a meeting here. And then you have the ability to put in your name, email, and your phone number. We can change this as it goes as well. We have the ability to create custom fields in here too, if you wanna capture different information. And as I was mentioning before, this is where the users have the ability to sign in or sign up as a Zoho user. And they can also log in or submit a meeting as a guest. For the most part, you are going to be using this. I don't think you want to use either of these two features unless it's something that you think your users will actually be benefiting from. Um, that's the only thing that I could potentially see. Now, we also have the Powered by Zoho bookings down here. And most of my clients, I think everyone wants to remove that. So there is a way to go ahead and remove that as well. So we'll dive into a lot more of these specifics in the future. But this is a very, very, very brief overview of the system. And in the next tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the settings tab over here and start looking at that in more detail and setting up your system. So make sure you subscribe to our channel down below. We want to make sure that this content is getting out to everyone who needs to see it as soon as possible. And that will help us reach you a little bit quicker, as well as like and comment on our posts. We want to help as many people and that reach helps us get more individuals. So be sure to also join our other social channels like Instagram and Facebook. We're building an awesome community and we can't wait to see you there. Bye for now.